Welcome back into the Delmarva Sports Insider. Guys, we've seen lacrosse. We've also seen baseball. Now it's time to take it to the softball diamond. That's right. Sussex Central and CR doing battle earlier this week in a pitcher's duel in this one. Rachel McCleary going to get gagged. Our Isabella Greeby swinging right there on the nasty changeup. Golden Knights on the board first. This time, Greeby, check her out. She's going to hit one deep into left field. Left fielder shallow. not really yeah. hustling right there. She's going to show off the wheels all the way around for an inside the park home run. Central would continue the offense. Kaylee Abbott going to bloop one in the shallow left. That's going to score Casey Reed. Knights go up two. And for the Riders, uh, their bats could not get going all game long. There's Reed picking up the strikeout. It's going to shut the door for the Golden Knights. A complete game shutout wow, for game. Reed after losing the day before by 11. Wow. Central Turn takes around. this one 5 to nothing, and they are back over 500 for the second time this year at 3-2. and two. Nice stadium out there. I really liked it. But over to Salisbury, Delmar softball taking the short trip to take on Parkside. The Rams, Sarah Weiss, check her out. With a drive into the gap, ooh, trying ooh. to stretch Post it to three, but there. great relay and throw by Shelby Lemon for the out at third. On the mound for the Wildcats, senior Tracy Pleasanton. Seven strikeouts and seven oh, innings gasped. for her. Only gave up three hits Eaters on the only. afternoon, but out dueling her. Parkside senior UNC Charlotte commit Maggie so Cannon. Good. Ten strikeouts and seven cannon. innings. <laughs> cannon, does. that's right, Jonah, gave up five hits. But she hit a triple in the seventh and scored the only run of the game as Parkside walks off with a one to nothing win. Now let's take a trip up to Caroline County, a battle of the heavyweights. This was Cambridge a duel. visiting yep. Colonel Richardson, freshman Maddie Pleasance on the mound for the Vikings, and she went so to work Pleasant all to afternoon. Pleasant would strike out three batters in the first and would have five Ks through two innings. The freshman would allow just one hit through the first three innings as we would head into the fourth tied at zero. Now with runners on second and third, Brooke Windsor up at the plate and the sophomore. She pulls through with the drive to center. Sabrina McKelvey and Abby Robinson both come around to score. Pleasance would close things out from there. She pitches a complete game. One hitter, <laughs> 15 strikeout Nine performance Keys. as the Vikings top colonel on the road two to nothing. No, I just want to get the ball across the plate and try to get some easy, nice ground balls down so we can get the outs that we needed to get. Get hit my spots even more. Make sure I know my batters, know where they're standing in the box to pitch. That arm was in middle school last <laughs> year. <laughs> so, sure if you know, the Talbot County, St. Michael's looking to continue their dominance. Up against Snow Hill, top of the first, Eagles jumping right out on the Saints. Lauren Smith slapping one. It's going to roll all the way to the fence. Two runs would score. Eagles out to a 2-0 lead. Just four batters into this game. That's coming out strong. And the Eagles more offense. Bailey Lamberton going to hit one into base or into center field. That's going to add another run to the board. Smith would get the start on the mound. And talk about pitchers who rake. Here's another one. She's going to rip this one out. Get Six out inches of here. from just crossing the a home run right Unlucky. there. Uh, she also had a complete game in the circle, getting it done with the bat as well as Snow Hill goes on to beat St. Michael's by a final of 12 to 3. And guys, how about a little soccer? Indian River also in action in their uh, first game since it. March 27th. They came out swinging, no pun Yo. intended. Isabella Binko <laughs> with a shot. nice goal, touches every part of the post. That was one of two Smith. first half goals for the freshman. IR going up 4 freshman. nothing at the half. <laughs> In the second, Delmar looking Everyone's to get so on the board. Yeah. Ashlyn Carr with the shot on goal, but the Indians keeper oh. Fabria McCray with a few goal. saves to keep the yeah, shutout yeah, alive. <laughs> then, oh, just oh, a few minutes challenge. later, Unlucky. Delmar still looking for their first goal of the game, but Mackenzie Niblett shot bounces right off the crossbar. Next Indians possession, and Binko Another passing first. it off. This time to fellow freshman that Anastasia so Diakos, <laughs> and she shoots it right past the outstretched hands of the keeper for her second goal of the game. And just 30 seconds later, guys, it's Binko with the Binko, breakaway, Binko, outrunning go. every Delmar defender as she goes opposite post, goes oppo for her third goal, a hat trick for the freshman as Indian River goes on to shut out Delmar 6 0. Um, I think it really just sets the tone for our team and shows that once we put our minds to anything, we can do it. And we showed that we wanted to win and we did it. For it being our second game together, we have gelled really well. And we know how we want to play. And Guys, Guys, we've seen an emergence of I was freshmen. Say, they took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> it's crazy. All the freshmen coming out it's and crazy. doing this. And you mentioned they were just in middle school last yeah, year. I was getting ready to say I'm glad that a class actually came up and uh, stepped up because we wouldn't have anything to put on the show. <laughs> no, we wouldn't. <laughs> Unbelievable. But that, that is going to do it for our high school coverage for the week. But 
When we return, the Shorebirds, got to talk about them, look to continue their hot play this week. We have an update on the Orioles minor league squad coming up right after the break. It's Macy Griffin from Washington High, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.